Hey guys, check it out. Found a 66 Chevy Malibu Chevelle. And this thing is a real nice, beautiful black on black with chrome. As we look, you see it has a 427 uh, emblem on here, turbo jet. But as you look at the hood, <laughs> you see Dirty did something to this thing with that big air scoop on the top of it. So we're gonna look at the information board and take a good look and see what type of specs we can find here. As we can see, it's a 66 Chevy Malibu Chevelle. It's got the 496 V8 and is a three speed with a lockout automatic transmission. Black on black, you see the mileage, unknown mileage, and it's a two door. Yeah, and you saw the price, and it's sitting at Gateway Classic Cars in Creek, Illinois. And we're going to take a good look at this thing going around the side of it and checking out these rims up front. You know, they had the right type of tires on here for the drag racing and the strip. But as we move forward, we're going to look in passenger side and take a look at the interior. And as you can see, yeah, it's pretty clean in there. It's really, it was kept well. Look at this. You see that shifter right there. And as you see the two bucket seats, nice leather seats. And it's, it's even got the back seats in there. But as you notice, that bar has got partial roll cage in there. So, you know, yeah, you had to have something for the drag strip when you're out there, out there racing. This thing is really nice. As you can see how, the, uh, once again, up on the dashboard, how clean it was. And we move out and we take a good look at the side of the car down the fuselage. This thing was well kept and is in really, really good, great condition. Look how deep those back rims are, you know. So whoever had this, whoever dirty was, whoever had this car, meant for this thing to be on the street and the strip. Leave the street, go to the strip, have fun. Leave the strip, go back to the street and still be legal. Look, you got your on and off switch for in the back for drag racing. In case you wreck, somebody can run to the back of the car and flip it off for you. A nice big bold Chevelle sign on the back of it. SS427, so it says. <laughs> but as we look around, I saw enough of these 66 uh, Chevelles and Malibus. They were really nice cars and popular. I'm pretty sure they had a high production rate of them. But these things were solid. Every last one I came across has been a solid car, even if it was one to be restored. And this one here may have been a restoration or it may have been kept in condition. But the thing is, it's still a really nice car. And as you see the back glass on here, yeah, this Malibu, yeah, it's really nice. Uh, we're gonna go into the driver's side window and you can still see that partial roll cage right there. Looking in there, yeah, the interior is great on this side, you know. But the thing about it what caught me off guard for a moment was these gauges that's in here. So yeah, you know you had gauges on the top and gauges on the side and switches, you know. So for all you dragsters out there, you know what basically you're gonna get with this car once they give you all the specs and the paperwork, you know. And hey, who wouldn't wanna have a car like that? Now once again, you know, I said you see the price, so that's up to you to negotiate with the owners of the car, which is Gateway Classic Cars, you know. I'm just letting you know what it's worth, so they say, it's up to you to negotiate to get that car, you know. But as you look out on the side here, you got gauges on the outside of the window. Gauges inside, gauges outside. That beautiful dark black paint. And look at that front grille with those headlights, man. This thing is really, really nice. And it's sitting here at Gateway Classic Cars in Crete, Illinois. Give them a call.